Dump, 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 dump. Mission impossible. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to turn this pile of shit into a Mosley TA-33 that can go up here. So, if you're like me, like a lot of people, you got yourself a used antenna and it looks more or less like this. Uh, maybe when you brought it home it was uh, taped together with duct tape then they went up on the roof and lived up there for a few years then you took it down and put it in the yard and now you got a giant jigsaw puzzle that's what I got so let's see what we can do about it step by step inch by inch it's like the story of the Siberian peach pit pie shaggy dog story well if you're like me, your Mission Impossible looks something like this. And it doesn't take you too long to realize that you probably have is three or four different antennas mixed up here. And so the question is going to be how the hell do you figure this out? I think what I've got over here looks to me like it might have been a 10 or 15 meter Yagi. I think all this stuff is part of probably a 10 meter Yagi. Then I got some miscellaneous stuff and frankly I don't know what it is. Then I got some stuff here it may or may not be part of the Mosley and I think this might be the gamma match for the Mosley I don't know so what do you do and then there's you know there's more junk left over that hardware doesn't have anything to do with the Mosley so it's something else and then there's, there's other pieces and parts, who the hell knows. So, the only thing I know to do is get the Mosley manual and take a look at each of the elements, how long they are, what they're made out of, how many pieces, and start measuring and cataloging what I have, putting it on the list, and then we start mixing and matching until we figure out what goes where. By going to the uh, Mosley website and looking at the uh, uh, manual for the uh, TA-33 and the parts list for it, um, I got the uh, uh, numbers and the uh, dimensions for each of the uh, aluminum pieces uh, in the boom. And uh, I wrote those down and made a list uh, showing their diameter and their length and the number in their diagram. And I made the list for every single stinking piece. And then I went out to my pile, we'll go out there in a minute and I'll show you, and I located each piece and wrote with a pen on it what it was, what its dimensions were, so I know how to put this puzzle together. Made sure I had all the pieces. Let's go outside and take a look. Okay, on this sawhorse I actually have two different antennas. I had a whole big pile of aluminum there and I was able to uh, separate it out, discover that I have two different antennas. Uh, the stuff on the left hand side of the picture we won't talk about. I think that's probably a, a, a 10 or a 15 uh, meter four element Yagi. But this stuff on the right is the Mosley. And uh, I've gone through, uh, found the parts, and uh, put them together and labeled them uh, using the chart that I showed you. And so uh, I found out that we had uh, two of these uh, six foot uh, center elements, and then there's uh, two feet, uh, uh, two more extender elements, and then uh, two more 
uh, extender elements on the end there. So each element uh, of the, refle of the uh, director and the reflector are made out of uh, one, two, three, six pieces. Uh, no, there's a center section and uh, two extender pieces on each end. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, five pieces for each element. So I found those, and each each of those pieces has a has a number, and uh, you know I put them on there uh, so you'd know I'd know what the heck they were. These all have to be taken apart and cleaned, and so uh, that's one of the reasons I'm writing the numbers on them so I can put them back together. Here's my boom. Uh, here's my plate. Uh, here's the uh, element mounting piece that goes across, and then the the driven elements, the radiators, the driven elements are in two pieces with insulators, so those are pretty easy to uh, to identify, and they mount they mount on this plate with the uh, the insulators here and the elements uh, going out that way. So um, we found everything um, uh, so that's uh, that's good news uh, and the last the last pieces of the puzzle are there are six tips about a couple of feet long uh, that go out on the end of the uh, uh, the traps and I knew I had those those are in the in the shop we took those off before we disassembled the traps and uh, uh, from the Mosley literature uh, you can get uh, all of the dimensions to put uh, the antenna together. Uh, the distance uh, for the center sections of each of the elements, uh, the, uh, the distance out to the traps, uh, the ends, the lengths of the stubs out there, and the overall dimensions. So from that you can assemble your three elements correctly and then uh, you can uh, put them on uh, the boom. Um, notice that the uh, uh, the driven element does not go dead center. It's five and a half feet from the director to the driven element, and it's uh, or five feet eleven and seven feet eleven from the driven element out to the reflector. So uh, with all that uh, information, uh, you can put together your antenna. So we've we've got everything we need now to assemble the antenna. Uh, all we really have to do is go after uh, all this kind of corrosion. Unfortunately here, uh, these elements were put together and I don't think they used uh, that uh, non-conductive grease because I can't just grab them and pull them apart. So um, that's going to be one of the things that we'll be uh, doing. I guess we'll um, uh, put some, uh, we might start with a little bit of uh, uh, penetrating lubricant, see if that'll loosen them up, but if not, we're going to have to use uh, phosphoric acid. Uh, this is, this makes me very unhappy. Um, I think I might have pushed these things back together um, when I was collapsing this beam to bring it home years ago. And uh, so my bad, I guess. Anyway, uh, everything is here. Uh, we'll clean it up and we will have an antenna before we're done.